Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate measures of central tendency in Google Sheets. Um, so to get to Google Sheets, you type sheets.google.com. And then if you open a new sheet, you'll get something like this. Uh, you can put the title up here, which I've already done. Uh, so let's suppose uh, that I'm a math student and I want to record my math marks. Um, so maybe I'm a really good student here. I got a 90 on one test, uh, 95, 88. 92, and maybe a 91. Um, so I'd like to calculate the mean, median, and mode of these. Um, and I know that I'm going to put in some more marks down below. So when I uh, tell the spreadsheet what to calculate the mean, median, and mode of, I'm going to include some extra boxes that are currently empty here. OK, so you go over to any other uh, cell. Uh, the little rectangles are called cells. Um, and let's start with the median. So I'm just going to type in the word median so I remember what this one is. Uh, if you want a spreadsheet to do some calculations, you have to start off by typing equals. And that helps the spreadsheet know that uh, it's going to have to do something there. Um, and so the command to get the median is median. Uh, and you can see as you start to type it, it appears. Um, and then you open the brackets, and you want to tell it what to get the median of. So there's different ways to do it, but I think the easiest thing is to, uh, I'm clicking and dragging here, so I click and hold, and I'll drag, I'll include a few extra boxes. So it's going to do the median of all of these things. Now it doesn't, these empty boxes, it doesn't think that there's zeros or anything. If there's only five numbers in there, it's only going to do the median of five numbers. All right, and then I'll close the brackets and press enter. So the median of these is 91. If you check, uh, you can see that uh, there are two marks below 91, 90, and 88, and two above, 95 and 92. So that is indeed the median. OK, let's do the mean next. Um, now, unfortunately, the command for mean isn't mean, um, but it's not bad. It's uh, just the word average. Okay, And so I'll do the same. I'm going to click and drag highlight all those, and then close the brackets. Okay. And then we'll find the mode. So type equals mode, open the brackets, and click and drag. Um, if for some reason it's hard for you to click and drag, you can type the text that currently appears in here. Um, so B3 is the cell B3 right here. It's in the column B um, and row 3. The colon means it'll do everything between that cell and B15, which is down here. So you could just type B, B3 colon B15 if you preferred. Okay. So now we have this little error message, and if you hover above, it'll show you why. It said mode cannot produce a result. No value occurs more than once. So that's perfect. We don't have a mode here, so it's not giving us one. Okay, so in each of these, oh, another little thing here is if you um, double click on the cell, it'll show you everything, all the cells it's using to calculate. So that's nice. If you forget, like, how far down did I go, you can just double click and check. Okay, so let's suppose that we get another mark, and suppose that this one is a 91. There we go, so it recalculated everything for us, and now we have a mode, the mode is 91, because we have two 91s. Now I want to show you, there's a very slight problem with the mode. Um, a set of data can have more than one mode, but Google Sheets seems to only give you one back, and it seems to give you the one, I just was playing around with it a bit, the one that just occurs, like, first in the list. Um, so now we have two 91s and two 92s, but I think because this 92 comes first, it gives you the 92. So you want to be a little bit careful, maybe just double check the modes that you're using. But I haven't noticed any problems at all with the median and the mean. Okay, now I'd like to you to take a look at this list. We have a 91, 91, and 92. Um, and I want you to pay attention to how they change. If I put in like a sort of really surprising thing, suppose that then I got a zero on a test. A lot of the time, if a person has a zero, often it means that they didn't do the test for assignment. Um, it could mean that they really didn't know any answers. But this is the, the most common thing is that they didn't they didn't write anything down, maybe because they didn't do it. Okay, so just remember here, mean is median is ninety one, mean is ninety one in a little bit, and the mode is ninety two. So the median is actually stayed the same. 
The mode uh, stayed the same, and we do still have two modes, but it's just showing one of them. But the mean dropped quite a lot, more than 10% here. Um, and that's actually uh, common with the mean. If you have an outlier, um, a number that's really different from the rest, it really affects the mean a lot. I'm going to put in another zero. There we go. And now the mean is all the way down to 71. Um, it really has a very, very big impact on the mean. Okay, so it's kind of fun to um, do calculations in spreadsheets because then you can play around with them and say, well, what if I got 100? Um, and you can, what if I got 300s in a row? What would happen then? Um, and it'll just do all the calculations for you. And then you can say, well, maybe that's a little bit much. What if I got a 98 and a 98 and a 100? Um, and you can really play around with things. Um, and it's it does the calculations so quickly that you can really think about what's happening instead of thinking about... Uh, you know, adding and dividing and all that stuff. All right, so just the most important things. Remember that if you want the spreadsheet to calculate something for you, you have to start off by typing equals. Um, and then also, actually, I guess I didn't point out, as you're typing, um, what you're typing appears up here. And so if you want to change what's in this box, maybe you want it to go uh, one further. Instead of B15, you want it to go to B16. So you can just type that in. I did that a bit quick there. Type it in up in this box here. Maybe I'll put it back to B15 there. All right. Good luck with it.